Hello guys, Steven Ducks here. Welcome to this video. So today we're gonna go over uh, all of the AI plays that happened last week. The volume is definitely picking up compared to 2022. There's going to be uh, 10 tickers we're gonna go over. It happened in one day. I want you to guys to get ready in the upcoming months. Every single hype actions is going to be very similar compared to the last week actions. And I'm also gonna go over some of the risk management method, especially trading those low floaters, how to really avoid the massive traps. Before that, uh, make sure to check out the new course link in below and let's get into the video first let's talk about cxai this is the one that's the main play that i consider the, it drove the main volume into the market ticker is only 1 million float so it's considered to be a nano float went from 2 to 70 the pre-market i'll go into the first day since this is not a biotech so the only way to be able to avoid traps is you have to wait until the stock forms consolidations to see how much volume actually traded before 10 30. going right here uh, typically you can consider this one as a gap up short it gapped up over 100 percent uh, started around 1.3 so opened around three so gapped up around 100 percent pushed about 30 percent in total consolidated around 3.3 uh, typically when you see these type of 20 to 30 percent pushing percentage after open if they trade more than 40 or 50 million volume and the stock is not going down it's holding the consolidations majority of the time you're going to see a breakout later on in the afternoon or right after 10 30. so this one looked really strong broke through the consolidations that took a little short right about here 3.3 uh, covered instantly when it broke around 3.6 so only took I think it was around 3k losses then uh, didn't trade after that uh, i should have gone long once the 3.5 is broken uh, typically when the stock trade that much volume on a really low float you will see either a significant parabolic or a massive drop right before the market close into a consolidation so i'm gonna go over that type of scenario as well for cxai it's a nano float went from uh, going into the second day when the stock is going fully parabolic like this close it's considered to be closed really strong and going to the next day the stock went all the way to 70. before the market opened the stock opened around 20. so going in in from here i i do consider this is the main play but after the market opened this one already dropped 70 percent 80 percent from the top in terms of managing your risk it's pretty much impossible the main consolidations in the pre-market is around 29 so if the market opens and pushes to 29 there's a, a range you can risk off between 29 to 36. to be able to size in into these tickers it's gonna be really difficult sizing in at the open you will never know how far it's going to push because low floaters can push can go all the way up to 50 or even 60. without consolidations don't touch these type of low floaters I always focus on the sympathy play so going into the sympathy play we have two tickers one is sai this one is i would say copying cxai's pre obviously aftermarket opens action you can see right off the bat cxai dropped about 50 percent everybody's seeing the main major play is dying then everybody's not going to be confident holding in the parabolic spikes right after market open for the sympathy play this is a decent short shorting around six probably risking 7.4 adding into the consolidations adding in into the crack this one surprised me that it didn't fully drop to the max reward range Typically, these type of tickers can fade all the way back to three. This is considered to be the max reward range. Since every uh, AI sector uh, closed really weak, I'm expecting that next Monday, quickly is likely to drop. It's not going to exceed Friday's uh, volume. And this is likely to fade to three. Going into PTPI, this is another sympathy play compared to CXAI. The only bad thing about this one is this is uh, healthcare related. So it's considered to be a biotech insane parabolic after market open went from one to eight this is also a low floater the only way to be able to trade this is shorting into the consolidation right here risking 8.5 since he traded around 75 million shares i think before the momentum shifted there's a good chance that uh, going into the next monday this is unlikely to trade more than 75 million shares for it to break 8.5 typically the average volume on a low floor is around 20 30 million and if on the current day you only traded 20 to 30 million shares there's going to be a high chance that into the next day it's likely to trade 30 to 40 million shares 
But if it's trading 70, 80 million shares, which is the maximum amount of volume can be traded in intraday, there's going to be a really low chance to get more volume uh, going into the next day. Going forward in PTPI, I think there, uh, this drop is kind of predictable. But more predictable part going into Monday is typically when ticker trades this much amount of volume, there's likely to be a bounce that's going to come after uh, Monday. Ideal consolidations is around 6.6. Uh, that's the middle of the consolidations. If it only trades about 10 million shares in the at the open, I'll probably take some short positions around 6. We'll see how it goes if it can uh, form a decent consolidations. All right, so uh, that'll be pretty much all of the major play. There's tons of tickers that's happening, but it's not trading nearly as much volume compared to SAI and PTPI. Going into next week, we have CNSP. This is also I'll say the first green day that trades this much this much volume. Also a low floater and also a biotech. And be really careful with the biotech plays. Tend to avoid as much as possible unless they create a massive amount of extension within two days. So let's say for CNSP, it goes from 60 cents or 70 cents to $10 on Monday, then yeah, it is shortable. But if it's only up a couple hundred percent, typically biotechs are not really worth it to short into. Always make sure manage your risk up to really, really tight. That's how you can avoid massive squeezes just like CXAI. All right, guys, that'll be all the recap for the last week. Let me know if you have any questions. Please leave a comment below. Other than that, see you guys next week.